Hi ladies, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I did this sleek, thick wing with uh, bronze makeup. And if you are interested in achieving this look, then stay tuned ladies. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is my brows. And I also applied some Radiance Primer to my face. I'm going to be applying my primer onto my eyelid. And this is by MAC Soft Ochre. I'm also using my finger just to blend it out a bit more. Next, I'm gonna be taking Wedge and I'm just gonna be creating uh, some depth into my crease and this also works as a base for my makeup. And it's a matte, taupey color. Light taupey color. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be taking Rule by MAC, and this is a matte orange color, and I'm going to be applying it right on top of the wedge, just to warm up my crease a bit. Nice. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be taking is Uninterrupted. Now, I'm going to be applying this just on my outer crease area, and blending that upwards, just to create a transition of colors, and just to make it look more blended and flawless. Next, I'm going to be taking some more primer, and I'm just using my fingers just to apply this to my lid area. Just so I can work with a blank canvas. Now I'm going to be taking this gel, black gel liner, and I'm going to be applying it with an angled brush. First thing I'm going to do is start off with a sharp line on the corners of my eyes meeting my crease, and then just working it into my lid area, just on the lid while sharpening the look. Now you want to make sure you keep this below the crease and just on the lid, kind of giving a little room between your lid and your crease where that meets, just so it doesn't transfer onto your crease. And if you have hooded eyes, you want to make the wing a bit smaller, but the whole look is to be dramatic and Now you don't want to worry about applying this to my inner corners of the eyes because I'm going to be doing that in the end just to clean up the look. Now I'm going to be taking this black glitter with gold flecks in it and it's from uh, Berry M and it's the color 22 I believe. I will list all the details down below but this is what it looks like. And I'm going to be taking a synthetic brush and dampening it with some Fix Plus just so it could hold on to the glitter and just applying this strictly on my liner. So if you do have hooded eyes, you want to make sure you leave some room. So you just want to put it on the bottom of the liner. You don't want to put it on the entire liner because it will transfer onto your crease. Um, this is something I've learned through trial and error. <laughs> so yes, if you do have hooded eyes, you want to just make sure you apply this to your lower winged area. Now I'm going to be correcting my dark circles and I'm going to just bring this under my eyes and around my mouth areas and basically where I have darkness or dark spots. Once I let that dry, I'm going to be applying my foundation. Now this is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. And it does look a bit thick here, but it's not full coverage, I believe. Um, it works very well. It's my favorite foundation. And if you've been watching my tutorials, you know I wear this in every... Um, tutorial because I just love it love it love it but I have gotten a bit tan so I'm going to have to get a darker color but this will work because I will be bronzing up my face next I'm going to be taking this uh, cream to powder foundation but it's in dark spice I believe and I'm just going to be warming up my out the outer areas of my face just to create more depth and because I want to look super tan for this makeup look I've been obsessed with bronzers this summer. I've just been obsessed about them and I wear them all the time. Even when I don't have time for makeup, bronzer is my for sure make time for that. Now I'm gonna be concealing my under eye dark circles 
and I'm just pushing this into my skin. Now I did this after the bronzer so it doesn't start creasing on me before I set my foundation. Next, I'm going to be taking this Makeup Forever translucent powder with my banana powder, mixing that up and applying this with a fluffy brush under my eyes. Now, the reason why I use a small fluffy brush is because I don't want to ruin the rest of my makeup, so I set it very well with lots of powder under my eyes, and then I go back in with a big fluffy brush and put it into the rest of the, the put it on to the rest of the areas of my face. <laughs> now I'm going to be contouring my nose. I'm going to be taking Corduroy by Mac and just contouring that, contouring the heck out of my nose because I am obsessed with contouring my nose. It just makes such a big difference, ladies. Don't worry, I am going to be blending that out. Now I'm just going to be applying some highlighter onto the tip of my nose and applying soft and gentle, the same highlighter that was on the brush, to my cheekbones and other areas where I want to glow. I'm also applying this gold shimmer onto my cheekbones just to warm it up a bit. Now I'm going to be applying the blush Raisin by MAC and just blending this into my cheeks. And I'm going to be taking Fix Plus and using the same brush that I after I've wiped it all off <laughs> and going in with this gold glitter eyeshadow in my inner corners and and under the tips of my wing. Ooh, I got some on my crease, just gotta blend that out. Perfect. Now I'm gonna be taking this black eyeshadow and just applying this on my bottom lash line. Bringing it into my crease as well, but not all the way to the inner corner, just kind of meeting the glitter. Now I'm going to blend this out with a bit more uh, raisin blush and just buff it out a bit just so that line isn't as harsh. Now I'm just going to be applying some liquid liner on the inner corners of my eye just to sharpen the look up and make it more cleaned up. Now I'm going to be applying some mascara. This is L'Oreal's Voluminous Mascara. I love this mascara. Perfect. Now I just applied some lashes onto my eyes and covered the glue with some liquid liner. And I've also applied this cream-colored pencil liner on my waterline as well. Oh yeah! So next I'm going to be taking Stone by MAC and sharpening up my lips. And this is a dark... Um, grayish color but I love mixing this with different lip colors if you are a darker complexion this lip liner can darken any other lip liner or lipstick color that you do have but you think is too light on you perfect now I'm just gonna be applying boldly bare lip liner and some nude lip gloss on top Thanks for watching ladies, this is a finished tutorial. If you like my hijab, I could list all the details down below and how you can save some money on this hijab and every other hijab that you see. I got love for you guys. I really appreciate all the love and support. Like, share, and subscribe ladies. See you next week.